Hello, um, I've been saying for years I was going to get a better camera, <clears throat> and I did, but then now I have to figure out how to use it, and I thought I would start by painting nasturtiums, which is a beautiful summery flower. I'm just going to take a little bit of spring green, and I have a larger brush, this is our number eight brush. I'm just gonna make some rounded shapes here. And I'll start with one in the middle that kind of looks like a pizza. And then underneath that I'm gonna do kind of a jelly bean shape maybe. These can have kind of odd shaped edges. Now I'm going to do another one, I'm going to tuck it in here, kind of coming out to the right, and maybe float another one up here. These are just, it's kind of good when they're irregular, because still lifes and nature and plants they're not regular, they have a symmetry that they show in a very irregular way, which is something that makes them so beautiful. So after I've put just a certain amount of green shapes that are going to be our nasturtium leaves, I'm going to leave them for a minute because they're a little wet, and I'm going to just take a little bit of blue and I'm going to do my stem and I'm going to take my brush in a more upright position and from the top of these green pillows I'm just going to pull a line straight up at any curve you, you like really you can curve down oh, I touched that leaf and that's just a nice surprise so one of these nasturtiums will be sideways, this one, and out the back of the nasturtium is kind of a, like a green hat. So I'm going to make this green poke here with a few things coming off of it. That's the back of that, that nasturtium. And I'm keeping an eye on my green leaves down here because I want to put detail into them before they dry out too too much it's nice when they're they have a bit of water so maybe let's go back there now it's also a little bit of blue this is great ocean oh, this is almost night blue and kind of in an upright way well, that's a bit strong i'm just going to trace around and i'm going to let my brush skip out past the the edge of the shapes that I've made and this is going to give it kind of a light botanical illustration feel I'm just going out and around all of them and sometimes it touches and sometimes it doesn't. So there, I've traced all of those. And now I'm going to do the inner, the inner lines. I can start from the, the outside, the inside going out. Or you can do the inside going in. But I kind of like inside going out. And you can curve some of these lines. They'll, they'll give the shape which shows you which way the, the leaf is pointed. Towards you or away from you. And you can see how wet the leaf was when I started, and here this one's quite dry. 
and it gives you just different tones and effects. That's really what's fun about watercolor. It's doing its own painting while, while you're painting. So, I'm going to do a few more. There. There's our nasturtium leaves, and now we're on to the flower. So I'm going to take a big bit of pumpkin orange here, and I'm going to touch, you can see how wet this is. This little hat is quite wet. Right in front of it here, I'm just going to make a little scoop which is kind of just laying your brush down and then going to the right or left a bit and then lifting. And then on the left here, I'm going to almost draw the letter C with my brush and lift it back up. And now, two ways we could do this bottom one. What happens is if you have your brush full of water, and then you put color just on the tip, you can turn your brush this way and kind of roll it around and it'll do a nice gradated wash for you there. Okay, now this one's gonna be facing, looking at us straight on. One, two, I think they have four major petals. So there's those. Mm. Now they, those are quite those are quite uh, wet. So again, I'm going to move to a different part of the painting, and I'm going to put all of these in a robin's egg pot, like a window windowsill pot. So if I just start at one of these and just do a, a loop around here, like a, a semicircle and I connect into it. And then in the back here, I'm going to do the same. And then just come down from it a little bit like that. I always get carried away with pots and kind of want to make them the the main story of the painting, but I'll try to stay, I'll try to tame down here. Okay, and now back up into the nasturtium, I'm just going to take a bit of our strawberry red and just do a few strokes up into the top. From the center. And you'll see because the petals are still quite wet. You'll see them feather nicely. And then I can do the same thing I did with the leaves. Kind of trace it trace the petals a little, or or not, and any little bit of uh, red there is just going to feather a little. And then I like to do a few dots in the middle of the flower, and this is our fall poplar yellow, just a little dot of yellow in the middle. There. And sometimes it's nice to put a little sparkle into these. 
you wouldn't really notice it anywhere. But it, it just adds a bit of uh, liveliness. It blends nicely into your color. And then when you turn to go past, you'll notice a bit of motion. There. And that's the nasturtiums. Thanks for watching.